Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess. I don't really know how to start this video. I haven't filmed in a long time. Um, I think the last video I posted was about a month ago. It was my announcement that we have booked our flights to move to New Zealand, which is so exciting. And then I just took the next month off, which was intentional, kind of unintentional. There was just a lot going on. So I posted that video and then it was fall in Vancouver. And usually the fall weather gets super rainy and gray, but we were so um, fortunate this year that it was sunny um, for more days than it was rainy, which was so nice. And I definitely wanted to utilize that time with my family. We went to a pumpkin patch at the beginning of the month which is always on my fall to-do list and I definitely knew that I wanted to do it again this year as it may be our last pumpkin patch for a while. I don't think they are super common in New Zealand so we went to a pumpkin patch that was really nice and then it was Thanksgiving in Canada so we traveled to the Sunshine Coast uh, in British Columbia to stay with family and spend Thanksgiving together and then we came back and my husband was working a lot more. He had um, more projects that he had to work on and he was out of town for a little bit, which is the first time that he's uh, ever left us, me and my son. So that was a learning experience, but we did, <laughs> we did well. And then the past week or so, we just got hit with a cold and the weather has been super rainy. So that's my month of October. It was busy, um, chaotic at times, but full of a lot of good memories. So I'm glad that I took the time to be present and be with my family. But I'm filming today. It is the 1st of November, which is absolutely crazy to me that Christmas is like eight weeks away. And like, <laughs> I don't know where the time has gone. It's almost 2023. And I remember being in my car filming the first video on my channel um, back January 1st. So it's just crazy. I don't know where the year has gone. I feel like time is going so fast and I'm trying to make memories and figure life out, <laughs> which just feels so crazy. Anyway, so today I am in my car. I am about to go into my orthodontist appointment. It is my 12 month, my one year appointment of having my braces. So we're gonna see what they're gonna say. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to expect. Last time I talked to you, they didn't change my wires, which was the first time. So I don't know if they're gonna change them this time, what's gonna happen, I have to wait to see what they say. Um, I have pink, as you can tell if you saw my last video, I got hot pink and this is how much they have faded in like seven, eight weeks. They faded a lot, <laughs> which I feel like they faded more than my light pink ones did. And these started off really bright hot pink. So I was thinking about what color I wanted to get next. And I know in my last video, I mentioned that I wanted purple, but I wasn't sure because it was gonna turn brown. Well, I've decided that I'm going to try purple. <laughs> um, yeah, I saw some people say it's a great color. I saw some people say it's not such a great color, but I'm gonna try it because I'm feeling in a purple mood. So I have to rush off into my appointment, but I will speak to you after. Hello, I'm back. I got purple. I really like how they look. I think purple looks great. And I've seen other people with purple braces and I really loved it. And I didn't want that whole, oh, they might turn brown thing to deter me. So. Here we go, I'm going to try out purple. I'm hoping they don't turn out brown because my next appointment isn't until after Christmas. So she was just trying to double check. She's like, are you, we won't see you before Christmas. So are you happy with purple? And I'm like, yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Purple seems like kind of a, a Christmassy color, I guess. Okay, that appointment was good. I feel like I got some more information then I got at my last appointment where I really had no idea what was going on. Um, so basically, they said that things are looking really, really good. 
and progressing a lot faster than um, was originally anticipated, which is always good news and always so exciting. So I am not wearing elastics anymore. I mentioned that in my last video, I have graduated officially from elastics. So that is awesome. Uh, right now they're just trying to pull a couple more teeth into position just to, I guess, that's where they need to be. It's more my back teeth. Um, they want to just pull into position. So that's uh, what is happening right now. Um, the length of time before my next appointment is a little bit longer. Usually I've been going every six to eight weeks. This time it's 10 weeks. And then my next appointment they said is going to be a little bit longer because they're doing an appointment called a progress appointment. So they will be taking x-rays again. They wanna see how my roots are looking um, in my teeth. And so right now, my back molars don't have brackets on them, which was always weird to me and I never understood why. Um, but he said at my next appointment, I'll be getting my braces off because they need to put brackets on my back molars and then put more braces on so that, um, cause right now my back molars are <laughs> not close to my other teeth at all. They're still like, you know, I can't describe it, but they're not aligned with my other teeth. So next appointment, x-rays and getting brackets on my back molars and then pulling them in. And they said, yeah, I should hopefully be getting my braces off in the next few months, which is good. And I feel like the timeline is going to be crunch time because we're leaving in March. <laughs> So I could potentially have my braces off by then or be very close to. So I have to keep taking care of my my mouth, my teeth, my braces, and hopefully speed this process up. So I'm feeling good. <laughs> I feel good after that appointment. I feel like I got some more information and I have some things to look forward to. I'm really happy with the purple. They're nice and bright. Um, yeah. That was good. Okay, I'm back in the car. <laughs> um, my orthodontic office is right by Walmart, so I wanted to go and have a look because, like I said before, it is November 1st, so all of the Christmas stuff is really coming out now. Last week when I was in a store, I saw them starting to put all the fall things on clearance and put out, start putting out all their Christmas stuff. So I wanted to go in and look today. So I've done a little bit of a Walmart Christmas haul that I will show you. I'm just really excited for Christmas this year. More so that my son, he's two now. Um, and he's just, he's just so much more aware of what's going on and he's, way more interactive and participates in activities now which is so fun so i think that christmas is going to be a lot of fun and like he sits and watches movies now so i'm really wanting to do like a family christmas movie night and have snacks and have him watch his first ever christmas movie which is so exciting i don't know which one we're going to watch but We'll figure that out. I bought us all matching Christmas jammies because that is just the kind of mom that I am. <laughs> and another really cool thing is I, every year since my husband and I have been married, I have bought like one thing each year that we can add to our Christmas decor that is sentimental or maybe a little bit more money so it's nicer. And over the past couple of years, I've been buying ornaments. Last year, um, no, two years ago, I got my son's first Christmas ornament. We have our wedding anniversary ornament. We have a Canada ornament, a New Zealand ornament. I got an Australian ornament for this year. I just want to decorate our tree with things that are um, sentimental and have meaning. We also all have stockings with our names that I ordered that are cute. Um, 
one thing that I did purchase this year and it is something that I have wanted for a really long time and know that it will be used in our family for many years to come is I actually bought a, a handmade advent calendar. It arrived in the mail the other week. I ordered it early because it was coming from Australia so I wasn't sure how long it was going to take to get here and it came pretty quick so that's exciting. It is made out of a canvas material and it has pockets so you can add your own goodies into it. And I thought this would be really, really fun. I've seen some really cute advent calendars on Pinterest and how people decorate it. Um, and you know, with my son now and if my husband and I have more kids in the future, this can be an advent calendar that we can all enjoy as a family. So the first thing that I bought for my advent calendar is I just bought some, uh, candy canes. Uh, these ones are actually raspberry flavored, which I thought would be good. My son is starting to really get into like lollipops and I think he might enjoy candy canes this year, but I didn't want to get the, uh, the original peppermint ones because I don't know if he'll like the, the minty taste. So I went with a raspberry, but these are just to decorate some of the pockets, just to put a candy cane in, um, the pockets to dress it up a little bit. So I got some candy canes. They're always inexpensive from Walmart. For my son's Christmas candy in his advent calendar, I didn't want to put in massive chocolates all the time. So I just picked up some little Hershey's Kisses that I will put in each of the slots so he can have a little chalky every day. I also wanted to do this thing where every like fifth day of the month, um, so like 5, 10, 15, 20, whatever, um, I got a little Hot Wheels car. <laughs> Hot Wheels are so inexpensive and he's starting to collect them and we have a, we got him a little Hot Wheels track for Christmas. So um, he's going to get a little Hot Wheels car every fifth day <laughs> of the month. And then I saw these and I couldn't pass up on it. Um, like I said, my son is starting to get more involved in activities and starting to understand and follow directions. So I found this cute little gingerbread decorating kit for like $5. It comes with eight little gingerbread and all the decorating things that you need. So I thought, you know, it'd be fun one night to just sit down and pull this out and have a little fun craft activity to do as a family and I'm so excited for Christmas this year. I well, Advent starts on the first so really I got to get all my Advent stuff ready in four weeks which I like getting early because it makes me excited and last year I decorated for Christmas at the end of November so it is going to be good. So that is my Walmart haul. I have a couple more errands to run. So I'm going to take you along. I can already feel that I'm starting to fade a little bit. I'm feeling better for the most part after being sick. Right now it's just, just low energy and my nose is still a little bit runny, but definitely more upbeat than I was the past couple of days. So I'm going to run some errands. Hello, it has been a few days since I filmed those last clips. I just started to not feel good and just went home and rested and didn't end that um, vlog. And then the past couple of days, it's just been not fun for my family. Um, we think my husband just picked up the flu from work and it just went through our whole family and we all had sinus congestion and just so tired and we're all feeling a lot better now but right now it's just kind of the lingering after effects of being sick we still have a little bit of low energy come the end of the day and we all have a little bit of a tickle in our throat but other than that we are on the mend which is awesome so I just wanted to film an outro for this video and say thank you so much for watching. It felt good to get back and start filming and hopefully I can continue to post a little bit more consistently after having a little bit of a break. Daylight savings happened last night, so I feel a little bit thrown off right now. <laughs> 
everyone's like fall back extra hour of sleep it's gonna be great and i'm like mm, i have a toddler and we did not get that extra hour of sleep last night he was we tried to put him to bed a little bit later still up at the exact same time so it's been an early start to the day but just wanted to quickly pop on and say thank you so much for watching and please subscribe i am excited for the adventures to come and to document all of that it's already november which is crazy and just feels like it's nearly Christmas and then we're in the new year. So subscribe if you want to follow along my journey as we plan to move to New Zealand. I can hear my son tipping something over. So I gotta go check out what that is. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.